Today I'm going to show you a massively impressive dessert. It's so simple to prepare, anyone can do this, yet everyone will be singing your praises. Let's make some strawberry shortcake on The One Pot Chef. Into a mixing bowl I've added one and a half cups of self-raising flour. Now if you don't have self-raising flour you can just use regular plain all-purpose flour and add in one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And to give it a little bit of extra lift, I'm adding in an extra half teaspoon of baking powder. Add in half a cup of cast sugar or super fine white sugar and mix that together to combine. Next we're going to add in some butter. I'm using some unsalted butter today, 100 grams, and I've just chopped it into little cubes. Now this is the messy bit. Basically using your fingers and make sure they're nice and clean, we're just going to rub the butter and the flour together until it all looks a bit like breadcrumbs. I've made a little well in the centre of our flour and butter mixture and in a cup I've just beaten one egg and one tablespoon of milk. So we're just going to pour that into the centre and using a round bladed knife like a butter knife we're just going to make cutting motions through the mixture until basically this comes together as a dough. Now if it looks a little too dry you can add a little bit of milk if you need to but basically just keep doing these cutting motions. You can see it's already starting to come together until it all comes together as a nice soft dough. That's looking good. Turn the dough out onto a lightly floured surface and using a rolling pin we're just going to gently roll this out until it's about one centimetre thick or about half an inch thick. Using a fluted cookie cutter we're just going to cut out rounds from the dough. You should get about 16 rounds out of the dough. That's including taking all the offcuts, rolling them back together and cutting out some more. So we're just going to brush the top of each one with a little bit of milk. And these are ready to go into the oven. Preheated oven 180 degrees Celsius for about 15 minutes or until they're nice and golden. Allow them to cool on the tray for at least 5 to 10 minutes before transferring them onto a wire rack to cool completely. Then we can start working on our filling. To make our filling first we've got 250 grams of mascarpone cream cheese and to that I'm adding in a quarter of a cup of icing sugar or powdered sugar or confectioner's sugar depending on where you come from in the world. And I'm also adding in a teaspoon of vanilla extract and just mix that together until it's nice and smooth and creamy. Beautiful, lovely. Our cookies have cooled and what I've done is I've flipped half of them over and I'm going to put a small amount of that mascarpone mixture onto each of the ones I've flipped over. Now if you can't get mascarpone cream cheese where you live, don't panic, you can use whipped cream instead. It'll work just as well and add in your vanilla and icing sugar and it'll be absolutely lovely. Top each one with some beautiful slices of fresh strawberry then simply top each one with the other cookie. Give them a light dusting with some icing sugar and they are complete. Golden and gorgeous, fruity and rich, these absolutely sensational strawberry shortcakes will be a big hit to anyone you serve them to. How beautiful is that? I am just absolutely dying to have a bite. Mm. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. First thing it hits you. Mm. <laughs> the shortbread is beautiful. It's so beautifully buttery. It's crisp and golden. Absolutely stunning. The strawberries have a slight tartness to them which is offset by the sweetness and creaminess and richness of that mascarpone mixture. Absolutely stunning. Well I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com and until next time, see you later. I've had a lot of people asking me recently why am I not posting bloopers on the end of these videos anymore? Honestly, I just haven't had any. I've been doing really well recently, but that being said, I'm due for a massive cock up very soon. And so as soon as it happens, I guarantee you, you'll see it here in the vanity cart very, very soon. All right, guys, lots of love to you all.